I recently started playing Wizard 101, and have gotten decently far with my friend Just Fang, to the end of Arc 2, The Dreaded Chrysalis. This world is so long. Man, 277 quests, that's four cool ranches. The pacing is absolutely awful, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. That's right, I'm catering to my Pirate 101 fans now. Back in Pirate 101's Mushu, the Emperor is still asleep from the cursed malice they're put on him. We see it in the puppet show. But the wizard should have woken him up by now, right? So what's up with that? Also, happy birthday month to Wizard 101. This is the extra credits video for September. So apparently, through my limited research, each of these worlds have different orbits within the spiral, kind of like a solar system. This can be seen in Ambrose's office, as well as in the storm gates between the worlds in Pirate 101. King's Isle takes a strange route with this, actually. Each world's time flows differently compared to other places due to magic. For example, Mushu might move slower than Skull Island. Maybe years will pass in another world while you're in another one. It's messy, it's flawed, but I do have a quote here from a forum from who I believe is the developer. I'll put it on screen right now. As for your questions, time in the spiral doesn't work the way it does in our world. Our concept of time is based on laws of nature. Well, in the spiral, the flow of time is guided by the laws of magic. This means it's inconsistent, confusing, and capable of being manipulated. The pace of time on some worlds is faster than on others. While some event may be ancient history on one world, the same event may be perceived as having occurred quite recently on another. Indeed, by most standards, the fall of Celestia happened many, many centuries ago. Yet, on worlds like Avalon, it wasn't that long ago at all. It's worth noting that Ravenwood and all of Wizard City, in fact, has a unique relationship with time. More on that will be revealed. Very interesting. This is why a chronological timeline of history is impossible. So maybe it's just best if we don't think about it. 